Hey, welcome back to Fan Mama Physics. We are going to do example four in 6.1 part two. Uh, this is banked curves, but this one is um, another force is going to provide that diagonal force, allowing your object to stay moving around in a circle. So here we have a toy plane, example four, and is attached to a string right there so that it flies in a horizontal circle with a radius of 0 0.8 meters. So if you imagine going to a toy store, uh, maybe you had a chance of seeing maybe uh, something dangling from a wall and it's kind of flying around in circles because it's tied onto a string. So this is exactly what this example is uh, referring to. This one is a plane for that matter. The string makes uh, 28 degrees to the vertical. So that is this line over here, okay? So that's uh, 28 degrees. It flies in a horizontal circle of radius 0.8 meters. So it is this radius right there. Okay. The string makes... Okay, so what is a period of rotation? What is a period of rotation? Okay. Uh, we know to find the rotation of a period from the tangential speed. To find that, it is V is equal to 2 pi r. So that's the circumference of the circle divided by the period. Makes sense, because that's displacement over time, right? And uh, meaning that if we know the radius, we need to know the speed of which the plane is moving at. To find the speed of which the plane is moving at, we need to look at its circular motion pattern using F net. So if we have to start off with this problem, we should start off with a free body diagram to see which forces actually will be helping, will be keeping the plane moving along in the circle. First, we know there is Fg, the force due to gravity acting on the plane. The other force is uh, definitely along the string, which is the force of tension acting on the plane. There is no surface for the plane to touch, so no normal force, no friction, assuming no air resistance. So that's it. Then identifying the circle that we have, it's this horizontal circle that we have here, meaning that the uh, centripetal acceleration is going to be directed this way. So that's AC over there, okay? Which means that um, if we want to figure out the net force pointing towards the middle of the circle that does that, which will be one component of the FT. So if we resolve FT into its components, we know that there's a vertical one here, and uh, this is FTY, and a horizontal one, which will be this one, and that's going to be FTX. We know that FTY is going to be equal to FG because the plane is not accelerating in that vertical along that vertical line. So we can just write that right now, FT, and guess what? If we use the angle 28 degrees, it has to be this one because uh, notice that these two make a Z shape in which uh, these two lines are parallel and uh, meaning that these two angles will have to be the same. So FTY is... Uh, adjacent to the 28 degrees, so that's cosine of 28, and that's equal to Fg. The other component, Ftx, this is uh, Ft sine of theta, or 28 degrees. This one is going to be pointing towards the center of the circle, providing the F net for the centripetal acceleration. So F net here is going to be Ft, Ft sine 28, and that's going to be equal to the mass times the centripetal acceleration of the plane. Whoa, where did that line come from? And that's going to be um, V squared over R. Okay, so that's acceleration by definition, V squared over R for centripetal acceleration, sorry. So then we need to find out, a, we need to, so to, to figure out this period, we need the velocity. To figure the velocity, we can get it from our um, centripetal acceleration F net equation. So this one over here. But right now, we also don't know what this Ft is. We don't know the force of tension. But we can find the force of tension from the F, from Fg. So if we just took this guy over here and solved for Ft, 
then um, we're going to get um, that's equal to FG. So we just isolate for FT by dividing both sides by cosine of 28. Okay, by 28, and which we're going to get FT is equal to MG over cosine of 28. Then I can substitute that one in there in our F net equation, which this is going to be M g over cosine of 28 times sine of 28 equals to mv squared over r. Hey, look, again, we notice our masses are able to cancel out just like before. And similar to the previous problem, there's an identity that we do know that sine of any angle divided by cosine of that same angle is equal to the tangent of that angle. So in fact, we can use this guy over here. We can substitute tan theta, tan 28 instead. So we're going to be left with g tan of 28 is going to be equal to v squared over r. OK? OK, v squared over r. Let's solve for uh, v first. Let's do that. So um, I'm going to multiply r up. OK, so it's going to look like this. And um, I'm going to need to take the square root of the whole thing afterwards, which will leave me with v is equal to the square root of r g tan of 28. I'm going to calculate it with the radius, which is, what is the radius again? Radius is uh, 0.8 meters. And the gravity is 9.81 tan of 28. Punching all of this in my calculator and not doing any sort of rounding is going to give me... Okay, so this is going to give me uh, 2.0427 dot 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 meters per second. I'm not going to round that because I'm going to need this guy up here to help me figure out tension. Sorry, not tension. To help me figure out the period. Woohoo, period. So um, I'm going to do this work down here as well. So we know that um, V... The speed is equal to 2 pi r over the period. To solve for the period, I move the period to the top like this. And then I just need to divide both sides by v. Divide both sides by v to uh, move the v on the bottom. So all I'm doing is to uh, I'm all I'm doing is swapping the v and the t. So I get t is equal to 2, 2 pi r over v. So I can now put in the rest of this one, 2 pi r radius is, uh, uh, what's the radius? 0 0.8 meters. And then the velocity, the tangential speed is just 2.0427 dot 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 meters per second. So let's do 2 times pi times 0 0.8 divided by my answer. I get 2.46 dot dot dot. And right to two sig figs is 2.5 seconds for my period. And there it is. Okay. Woof. All right. So uh, a lot of steps involved. Okay. And uh, I could have also done this where uh, instead of having, um, instead of having, what was it? Which step here? This one, the V. Uh, I could have also done it where I, uh, instead of solving for the speed, I just went directly to the period. Okay, so because uh, I could have done this one. G tan theta is equal to, uh, what was it, 4 pi squared r over t squared. Okay, and that's equivalent to um, v squared over r. So if you did it this way, and you just directly solve for the radius, or sorry, directly solve for the period, then that works as well. I did a middle step, okay? Anyways, thank you for uh, bearing with me through this example. Bank curves is not easy. It is very tough. So uh, please give it a more practice so you get better at it. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for watching. Fan Mama Physics signing out.